Welcome to Fort Ross State Historic Park. This is a replica of the windmill that was built in the park by the Russians who lived here for almost 30 years. This is part of the Russian territory in California, one of the unique attractions that you can only find here and in Alaska, where the Russians actually lived on the territory of the US. Let's check it out. Here you can see the information about the history of the windmill. And here is the mechanism, how it worked. And here is a painting of how Fort Ross used to look like 200 years ago. This is an overview of Fort Ross when you're walking from the Story Museum Center. It's a great location, right on the banks of the ocean. And it was very well built since it's endured for 200 years. And these are all wooden constructions. Fort Ross was established in 1812 for the purpose of supplying provisions to uh, Russia's Alaskan territory. They were hoping to grow wheat here, but that didn't go that well. So they actually hunted more here, especially for the precious fur of the sea water. This is a panoramic view of the fort inside. This is where the educational tours usually start. Visitors can sit on the benches and listen to the presentation about the fort and sort of do some hands-on activities. That's the main trading building. When it is open, you can see, you know, all the items that the um, Russians traded inside, like furs, weaponry, and other things. This is the well to get fresh water. The original well was dug 35 feet deep. And you can see there is still water down there. You can see three cannons here at First Ross. They were put here for protection of the fort, obviously. Here's an old chapel. One of the original 59 buildings here at Fort Ross. And this is Kuskov House, uh, the place where the chief of the fort lived. And when there is no COVID-19 pandemic, it is open and you can go inside and see the living quarters. Here are cooking headquarters. <laughs> um, probably here Russians would make soup. You know, we Russians cannot live a day without soup. So this huge bowl would feed a lot of people. Or potentially they could make porridge here, which is also very popular food in Russia. This was the grill area um, for fish, meat, and this obviously a new installation, but you can imagine how it was two centuries ago. So why would Russians abandon such an amazing place, such a beautiful place and a strategic location? Well, as I told you earlier, wheat doesn't grow here. So Russian Tsar didn't see value 
in this territory, unfortunately. And that's why Russians left. Well, when English-speaking settlers came over, they figured out that they could grow fruits here, grapes, and the rest is history. If Russians didn't leave, we probably would be standing in my homeland right now. But we would never know how that could have turned out. That's one of our most favorite places to come visit here in California. Definitely go down to check out the Fort Ross Cove that I just showed you from above. Um, here you can see a lot of marine wildlife and birds. And look at this beautiful sea star. There are lots of them around here. I'll try to show you more. Here is another beauty. Do you see it hiding? Pretty, isn't it? And here are some giant mussels. I love this unusual porous rock. Huh? And here is a piece of abalone shell. I'm gonna make a little pendant out of it. It's a true treasure of the ocean. Definitely stop by the museum at the visitor center to learn about Russian culture and traditions. This is the famous Russian samovar to make tea. Wood or pine cones are burned inside to heat the water. And Russians are famous for making tea from herbs, like chamomile, for instance, or mint.